can drain and clog her arteries naturally with diet after her heart attack. What steps can Jane take in the aftermath of a heart attack, and how can diet and nutrition play a pivotal role in her recovery? What should Jane eat? Well, let me introduce you to Jane, a 57-year-old government worker, devoted mother of two, whose life took a dramatic uh, turn in the winter of 2019. Uh, while at work, Jane experienced severe chest pain, shortness of breath, she ended up in the emergency room and was diagnosed with a heart attack, a myocardial infarction. Jane subsequently had a stent, a short wire mesh tube inserted in the main coronary artery. Today, we are embarking on a journey to uncover the secrets to natural unlocking optimal heart health. Fear not, we have a powerful tool at our disposal diet to natural unclog our coronary arteries. Now let's explore two dietary approaches uh, renowned for their ability to keep those arteries unclogged and our hearts pumping strong. The Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet. Let's begin with the Mediterranean diet. Uh, culinary voyage uh, through the sun-kissed shores of Greece, Italy, and Spain. And today we're delving into the transformative power of the Mediterranean diet. Uh, culinary adventure not only tantalizes its taste buds, but it also holds the key to reversing Jane's coronary artery disease. At the heart of the Mediterranean diet lies an abundance of plant-based foods, fruits and vegetables that grace the Mediterranean table, rich in antioxidants and fiber and essential nutrients. And from juicy tomatoes uh, bursting with lycopene to leafy greens uh, teeming with uh, vitamins and minerals and uh, bell peppers and uh, these colorful delights offer a plethora of heart healthy nutrients plus the high fiber content helps to regulate the blood sugar levels and their vitamins and minerals uh, that support our uh, heart health and combat inflammation, a key driver of coronary artery disease. And another staple of the Mediterranean diet is seafood. Uh, seafood offers a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids which have been shown to reduce the risk of uh, heart disease, decreasing inflammation, and lowering triglycerides levels as well. From grilled salmon to succulent sardines, incorporating seafood into our meals uh, provides a delicious way to protect our heart and keep our arteries unclogged and our hearts happy. And dairy, cheeses and yogurt are part of the Mediterranean diet. But what sets the Mediterranean uh, diet apart is the emphasis on whole, uh, minimally processed foods, real food. Uh, you say goodbye to trans fats and refined sugars and hello to wholesome ingredients that nourish our body uh, from within. And by promoting uh, fresh seasonal produce and incorporating traditional cooking methods like grilling and roasting and sauteing, you'll not only tantalize your taste buds, but you also protect your heart for years to come. The Mediterranean diet isn't just about what you eat, it's really a lifestyle. Uh, the meals are savored uh, slowly, enjoyed in the company of uh, family and uh, friends, and uh, complemented by a glass of uh, red wine, which boasts some heart protective uh, properties. And olive oil, a cornerstone of the diet, is a source of monosaturated fats that uh, help uh, lower the LDL cholesterol levels while maintaining the HDL cholesterol, the good kind of uh, cholesterol. And olive oil is used abundantly, but not so much for cooking, uh, more added to the foods as a flavoring. And with my experience uh, growing up in a close to a Mediterranean diet, uh, people ate uh, food mostly uh, grown in their gardens and uh, uh, red meats and poultry was really a treat and eating in uh, special occasions in uh, part because uh, people could also not afford it at that time. Let's turn our attention to the DASH diet. DASH diet stands for dietary approaches to stop hypertension. And 
I was first introduced in 1997. It was a study done by the National Institute of Health, the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute to reduce uh, blood pressure. And the DASH diet study enrolled almost 500 adults and divided them in three groups. It was a control group, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, and the third group they call a combination diet, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables and uh, low uh, saturated fats, uh, low fat dairy products uh, with reduced saturated fats and total fat. And the study ran for 11 weeks and there was a free running period and then eight weeks on different groups. It was a feeding study. Participants got one meal a day at least in the research center and were given food in the cooler for dinner and for the weekends. And the weight was kept constant and the salt intake was also kept at 3,000 milligrams of sodium in all groups. And there was no blood pressure medications allowed during the study. Although the DASH diet was developed to combat high blood pressure, but its benefits extended beyond that. Let's start with the stars of the DASH diet, the fruits and vegetables packed with potassium, magnesium, and fiber. These uh, nutritional uh, powerhouses help not only low blood pressure and cholesterol levels, reducing the strain um, on your heart and the arteries. And uh, from crisp apples to crunchy carrots, incorporating a rainbow of produce into our meals ensure a steady supply of essential uh, nutrients. And let's not forget the lean proteins, uh, poultry and fish, uh, and plant-based sources uh, of protein like beans and uh, lentils provide heart-healthy alternative to red meat, which is uh, high in saturated fats and uh, cholesterol. By opting for lean cuts and plant-based proteins will fuel your body with uh, building blocks necessary to maintain muscle mass and support overall heart health. What about dairy? The DASH diet recommended low fat or fat-free options to minimize saturated fats while still reaping the benefits of calcium and vitamin D. From skim milk to Greek yogurt, uh, these uh, calcium-rich foods help strengthen the bones and promote heart health, all while keeping your arteries uh, clear and your blood pressure in check. What did the DASH diet restrict? The foods high in saturated fats, uh, like full fat dairy and tropical oils or coconut oil and palm oil. And they limit the sugar sweetened beverages and the sweets uh, because they're just empty calories. And the initial study was published in April of 1997 in the New England Journal of Medicine. And what were the results? Everybody on the combined diet lower their blood pressure. People who had normal blood pressure uh, lower it by 5.5 millimeters of mercury, the systolic, the upper number, and diastolic, the lower number, by 3 millimeters of mercury. However, uh, people who had high blood pressure lowered the upper number by 11.4 millimeters of mercury, and diastolic, the lower number, by 5.5 millimeters of mercury. How long did it take for the blood pressure to go down? just two weeks, just two weeks. And to learn more how to naturally lower your blood pressure, watch this video, uh, top seven ways to lower your blood pressure, naturally without medications. I'll put a link above and on the description below. And was this a big deal? Yes, it was a big deal because the decrease in blood pressure uh, obtained with this diet was the same as you can get with one blood pressure medication. And if applied to the white population with decreased coronary disease, by about 15% and strokes by 27%. Is the DASH diet good for Jane? Certainly, it's a major improvement over the standard American diet. But why stop at just the one? You could incorporate the elements from each of these dietary patterns and create a symphony of flavors and nutrients that nourish your bodies from within. As we conclude our journey, remember that the path to a healthier uh, heart uh, begins with the choices we make every single day. By embracing the Mediterranean diet or the DASH diet, we unlock the potential to, to unclog our arteries, revitalize our cardiovascular system, and embark on a journey of lifelong vitality, one delicious bite at a time. What's next for Jane? What's the best diet for Jane after her heart attack? 
the Jane story does not end here. In our upcoming videos, we will explore additional diet that I believe are even better uh, than the Dutch diet or the Mediterranean diet for Jane or anybody else who had a heart attack. And always remember, your health, your most precious, as I said, take control. See you next video.